Meanwhile, we have seen yesterday how the Union Home Minister Amit Shah also issued a tears message to terror apologists. Amit Shah has now made it clear that uh, there are no caveats when it comes to war against terror. The Home Minister has now highlighted that there is nothing that really violates human rights as much as terrorism. Absolutely. So according to him, ending terrorism from its roots is the necessity for the protection of human rights. Listen in exactly what he said, especially when it comes to the dialogue part where he goes on on to say that terror and talks cannot go hand in hand. और मैं सुनिश्चित रूप से मानता हूं मेरा हमेशा मानव अधिकार संगठनों से थोड़ा एंगल के बारे में झगड़ा भी रहता है जब किसी भी आतंकवाद विरोधी अभियान होते हैं तो कुछ मानव अधिकार संगठन मानव अधिकार के मामले को लेकर आगे बढ़ते अपने आप में वो सच है मगर मैं हमेशा मानता हूं आतंकवाद से बड़ा मानव अधिकारों का उल्लंघन करने वाला कोई चीज हो ही नहीं सकता आतंकवाद इट मानव अधिकार का उल्लंघन करने वाला तो आतंकवाद को नस्यत करना वो मानव अधिकारों के कॉन्ट्राडिक्ट नहीं हो सकता आतंकवाद को खत्म करना मूल समेत खत्म करना वो मानव अधिकारों की रक्षा के लिए बहुत जरूरी है and after Amit Shah's warning coming in there, there's another reality check for those who defend terrorists in the name of human rights. A terrorist mother has now exposed the inhuman face of terror. Take a look. <laughs> Well, Sohail is uh, with us uh, on this story as well because this is the inhuman face of jihad, Sohail, especially when it com comes to the youngsters there, how they are lured. But there are also attempts that are being made by the security forces by calling in their families, rather, that they leave such activities and join the mainstream. Well, the moment this uh, gunfight in Baramunda started, in fact, the input uh, the security forces received as a matter of fact, the security forces did try in their best to ensure that uh, these militants surrender because uh, uh, we have seen uh, the group of militants who were pulled up there in Baramulla. Uh, were, in fact, 17-year-old Faisal was also with them. So they did try their best to ensure that he surrenders. And in fact, we have seen and heard those telephonic conversations between the army officer and the militant was accompanying Faisal there. So uh, the family also was called and uh, they too were made appeals through a loudspeaker there and asked Faisal to return back that we have seen now uh, uh, this video as well when uh, uh, his mother is making a favorite appeals and then actually exposing the inhuman side of this uh, conflict wherein uh, she uh, clearly mentions that how uh, a young like Faisal 17 year old uh, Faisal was lured and uh, picked up by uh, militants and uh, made to join uh, their ranks. So uh, th this is very clear and, uh, and a uh, very uh, strong message for those who are uh, sympathizing with the militants or uh, sympathizing with the terror outfits. Because a uh, matter of the fact is that 17 year or age is just uh, is just a teenager and, and the family has been since uh, yesterday trying their best to ensure that he comes back. But at the moment, we uh, ha have been reporting that the gunfight is still underway there and four militants have been killed by security forces. All right. Uh, thank you so much, uh, Sohail, for getting us that latest update. Uh, and we will be keeping a close tap on what really happens further. We slip into a short break now, but news and updates continue here on Times Now. Stay tuned.